The HDNet panel of experts scouting report. Both men equal on the striking. Lashley has the ground. Lashley has the speed. For sure, Lashley has the strength. But John Ott will not gas out as quickly as what Bobby Lashley made. The time for talk is over. It's time for the main event. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He comes into the cage tonight, weighing in at 215 pounds. With a record of eight wins and seven losses. He hails from Blue Springs, Missouri. Introducing John. And his opponent, standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He comes into the cage tonight, weighing in at 252 pounds. With a record of five wins against only one defeat. He comes from Aurora, Colorado. Introducing Bobby. For Lashley in the sports books. John Ott now at plus 900. Lashley at minus 1800. The over under is at 1 minute 30 for Lashley to finish. Michael Chevella, Frank Trigg with you. Look at the beast that is Bobby Lashley. A lot of movements early on here from our double leg Lashley. Shaka Laka almost put him through the canvas. That was awesome. He lands the heart, he bounced up in the air. Oh, Bobby Lashley just pulverized into the canvas like he was a rag top. Digs into the upper left rib cage with those massive meat hooks, those car batteries of hands. Forearm across the throat. Lashley with a ground and pound from inside the closed guard. Now the open guard and closed once again. Lashley is ferocious. He keeps swinging across, he keeps casting behind the ear. You know, Ox doing a great job of holding him tight, trying not to get hit, but everything's sneaking through right now. The size difference here. Lashley is just a freaking monster. Hammer for strike from a former pro wrestler. All he has to do is get one hand free for one big haymaker to finish this fight. What does Ox need to do here, Frank? He's got to push him away. He's got to keep that hand, keep one hand tied up at all times. And push, push Lashley away. He's got to get him completely extended out. Trying to battle him with a bottom ground game is not going to help. Lashley looking for a neck crack, maybe. Thought he was going to go for a can opener. Look at the physique. Look at the Latissimus Dorsey just popping out like a Christmas tree on the back there. Big right hand from Lashley. Oh, what's been caught now? Oh, trying to reach up and pull the head down, control the posturing of the Leviathan. And now he locks up the left arm, but the right arm's free on Bobby Lashley. Lashley's actually helping out, out because he has that other hand on the ground. He keeps putting the other hand down the ground for bracing. You gotta keep both hands on Ott. Make Ott carry your weight the entire time. Ott took a clean forearm and another one to the side of the left eye. Bobby Lashley is unleashing hell. And again, a tough thumping elbow. Up to a quick count of his teeth and making sure his bottom lip is still there. Talking about getting hit in the head with a sledgehammer. Mike, those, those are entire body weight. Lashley put everything behind each one of those elbow drops. This is just a violent incarnation of Bobby Lashley. He is looking to make an example of John Ott. He is looking to permanently hurt John Ott. Ott now locking up both arms for the first time in this round. It's gone longer than most people thought it would. And that's just because Ott has been holding on. He hasn't really done anything offensive. You see right now, double underhooks, closed guard. He's squeezing down as tight as he can. He doesn't want to get hit. Oh, Lashley again, smothering him like a Persian rug with arms. Boom, again to the jawline. Lashley fully postured up, having his way with Ott. It's like Solomon Bundy up there with his arm swings. Boom, again with a hammer for strike. Smack bang to the kisser. Not just taking incredible punishment. This is hard to watch. Ott trying to move his head, throws up the hands, and tries to control the posture. But Lashley is just manhandling and bullying and 
dominating and assaulting John Ott here. One minute 30 remaining in Ott's corner. They may have a hand on the towel. Look at Lashley, feet off the ground, full weight on top of Ott. Jeez, he's doing a great job too of peeling off, trying to get arms on, it, on his chin, pushing out away and coming back down with a big hammer fist. Oh, Ott's nose is splayed across his face like a Picasso painting. Lashley just having his way, but is Lashley guessing now, Frank? He just set up like he was getting tired. I'm wondering if he's punching himself out. The eye is split. The nose may be broken. Lashley has just pictured up the face here of John Ott, but John Ott somehow still surviving. Ott's doing a great job of holding on here. Just keeps him nice and tight, takes little small hammer fists. Every time that Lashley breaks away, he punches him down hard with several big hammer fists. The strength of Lashley is incredible. The face of Ott, can he survive another 28 seconds? Will they even let him into the second round if he does survive? Cut, bruised, blasted. Oh, that could be it now. I'm taking punishment. Raining down, hammer fist after hammer fist. 10 seconds remaining. I've never seen such ground and pound punishment. But somehow Ott survives. John Ott survives. And indeed, Ott is coming out for the second round. He is brave, if nothing else. Can he possibly get a Hail Mary shot here on the jawline of Bobby Lashley? He said to us yesterday he wants to push Lashley against the cage and dirty box him. Lashley is exhausted. He burnt everything he had in that first round. If Ott has leg kicks in his arsenal, this is the time to use them. This is the time to chop this tree down from the base. But has Ott got leg kicks? I don't know. He, he's taking everything else that, that Lashley has to offer, so what's the difference? At this point, risk getting hit in the head by throwing leg kicks if you don't have them. He's had two KOs, three submissions, and his eight career victories, John Ott. Outside thigh kick from Ott. That's what I spoke about. I would continue to go after these relatively skinny legs of Bobby Lashley. He is very top heavy. And Lashley is moving slow. That's not what you want, a Lashley double leg. He's gonna get you down, and down you go. If Lashley wants you on your back, Lashley's gonna put you on your back. And here comes the punishment with a full three minutes 44 on the clock. Again, Frank, what can I do? Push away, he's got his legs up on his hips. Start using the back of his legs to get more space. And then his heels on his hips and push him off. Start unbalancing him. It's hard for a guy to punch you if you're always checking his balance. He gets, he gets offsided. Laying here trying to hold on to Lashley's hands is going to cause more damage because the breakaway hits you three or four times. Then you catch him again. But every time he hits you, there's a chance for him to knock you out. You know what? Said to us yesterday, he's been working on his escapes, working on getting guard. And he's confident that if it goes to ground, he can work a good guard game. I think he may have totally underestimated the sheer brute strength of Bobby Lashley. Hey, when, I don't care how good your guard is, if someone's this much bigger than you, this much stronger than you on top of it, you can't really do much with your guard at all. And cut over the left eye has opened a game here on John Ott. He is going to require more stitches than a well-tailored suit. And Lashley has visibly slowed down from the GMP of the first round. He passes guard, goes to side control. An even more dangerous position now for John Ott. Because now you get a guy fully across your chest that's this much bigger than you, he's 30 pounds heavier. And you've got a guy that's going to look to try to throw elbows and hands the whole time, and he's so much stronger, he'll eventually get this arm trap, which is what he's trying to do right now with his leg. The size of Lashley's back, you could serve a three-course dinner on it and film a movie on it. It's incredible. Lashley rips in two left hands, make it three to the eyebrow over the right eye of Ott. Tries to fillet him with an elbow, Ott throws the legs up, the crowd liked it momentarily. Still signs of life here from John Ott, but look at his face swollen and bludgeoned and bruised and puffed up. He's in a bad position now because he let, he let Lashley get the north-south, which leaves your head wide open, so unless you've got a really good submission game from here or a... Or a Sweep game from here, you're in a lot of trouble. Lashley's output 
in the ground and pound. Not as much as the first round, but still a hell of a lot. Well, it does take a lot of energy to hold a guy down there and hit him when he doesn't want to be held down and doesn't want to be hit. That said, Frank, is Lashley from this position showing himself to be a one-dimensional fighter with no other options than just pounding away with that right hand? It's not too bad of a, of a dimension if you're able to hold a guy down and beat him up every single time like this. But Lashley's been shown he can't take guys down when he gets exhausted. He's been shown he's having problems. Could Lashley go for a submission from here? He's got a topside arm bar. He's got a reverse. He's got a Kimura Americani on the other side. He really gets crafty and rolling to a knee bar from this position. He's got a heel hook and an ankle lock too. But he's got tons of submission possibilities once he's past this guy's guard, but he doesn't know him. So what he's doing now is looking for ground and pound. So he's really not using his best attributes to his, to his best ability at this point. Lashley looked to step over on that occasion, may have been uh, looking for an arm bar on the left arm of Ott. Lashley, who made his mixed martial arts debut December 2008, a 41 second win over Joshua Franklin in Miami. Went 5 0, finishing four opponents in under six and a half minutes collectively. Could work the knees here, but he's not. He's just continuing solely with that right hand. And it looks like Hoff is going to survive another round with Bobby Lashley. And I'll tell you what, Frank, this does not do Lashley any favors in trying to genuinely stamp himself as a true mixed martial artist and impress his scathing critics. No, not at all. This is, this is the worst thing he could have done is hold the guy down. But take John Hart is still ready to throw down third and final round. Jump ball right hand. Now I would start kicking Lashley's lead leg. Uh, you know, if I'm on, I'm going to kick his leg, kick him in the gut. I'm going to throw haymakers, Superman punches. I'm throwing uppercuts. I don't care because all that's going to happen is he'll take me down again. I believe the corner have told Ott to work the angles because already he's working angles. He's hitting and moving off. And Lashley looks a little confused. Yes! Ott's got some game! Ott's got some gusto! I'm smack talking to him in the cage! Now that they're sweaty too, it's going to be hard for Lashley to take Ott down because Ott does have high caliber wrestling defense. Can you believe John Ott? Bobby Lashley is breathing through his mouth. Bobby Lashley is gassed here. Ott just needs to attack him. Just attack, attack, attack. Go forward at the angles, but don't give him time to breathe. I would fake a real leg round kick to the legs and power through the right cross to Bobby's jaw. He's got his mouth open. He keeps playing with that mouthpiece. He's exhausted. Chase it. Lashley's got a donut defense at the moment. A big hole in the middle. Go up the center. Coronel John Ott. There you go. To the jawline. Attack the donut defense. Overhand right. And scores. No. Don't get sucked into the double leg. And he backs out. Now what does Lashley need to do, Frank? Lashley's got to get this guy down. He doesn't have the energy. And he's got so much muscle up top. His shoulders are exhausted. He can't punch anymore. Look how low his hands are. He's got to step in, take a double leg, and drive. Use all of his energy. Drive out across the cage and get him down to the ground. He's Lashley in trouble here. He's almost spitting out his mouth guard. Here's that gust. John Ott's got three minutes and five to go for broke. Three minutes and five to pull out all the stops. Go for glory, John Ott! Lashley's in a lot of trouble here because Ott's got game and he can throw these big haymakers and hit him one time, knock him down and give him a flash knockout. They've got to know that Lashley is right for the picking here. He's stopped. He has just come to a stop. He's exhausted. He's got nothing left. Everyone, they've turned on Lashley. They're cheering for Ott. Here he comes. Oh, Lashley got tagged. And down they go. <laughs> was that the last chance for Ott? And the crowd goes silent. That's, that was it. There's no way in the hell that Ott is getting up from this. Lash is going to hold this kid down. Even if he loses this round 10-9, you know, Lash does. It doesn't make a difference. He won the first two decisively. It's going to be easy. John Ott showing tremendous heart. The crowd want to see them on their feet again. Lashley postures off and works the left hand. But I think you're right, Frank. I don't see any way that Ott gets out of this predicament unless he can close Lashley down, hold him down, and pray to the gods.
that Jason Herzog stands them up. If I know I've lost the first two rounds, I'm not going to hold on to the guy in the third round. I'm going to have to move and maneuver. I'm going to try and get up and get out of this position. Get back to my feet. Holding on for Herzog to stop it is not smart. He's got to move. Lashley. His worst round yet. Those hammer fist strikes, no starch behind them now. The power has gone. The crowd, who were rallying for Ott about a minute ago, have gone almost deathly silent. One minute remains. Look at Lashley. Herzog is telling him, you've got to keep working, Bobby, or I'm going to stand you up. Blood now on the forearm of Ott. Is it from Lashley? Yeah, it's from Lashley. Got cut by one of those rear elbows that uh, I was throwing down below. That means there's an opening. That means with 40 seconds to go, there's an opening. There's a painted target for Ott to go for. And listen to the crowd. Stand it up, they say. Ott's doing a bad job here. He shouldn't be holding on to Lashley at all. He's Get as much space as he can to maneuver, get to his hip, and fight to a stand-up. Just fight back up to his feet. Worst that's going to happen is that Lashley holds him down. Ashley bleeding all over him here. Hammer for strikes from Lashley. Up can't even see properly. Lashley momentarily postures up. And there's the bow. End of the third and final round. Stephen St. John, give us the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Henry Gary scores about 29-27. Judge Mike Munoz scores about 30-27. to 27. And Judge Mike Boyd scores about 29-27. to 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley back in the winner's circle. But as we said, not an impressive victory. Oh, and I'm sure know. we are going to hear a lot more of John up in the future. And Bobby Lashley could not even stand here in the cage. Ron's with him for an interview. An author, but Lashley is just hurt here. All right, guys. Bobby Lashley, you took him down in that first round. And... Serious monster, ground right? and pounds. The fight looked like it was close to being ended. Did you punch yourself out in that first round? No, no, no. I just, I was looking for something that, that wasn't there, but I mean, it felt good. I needed it. I needed to spend some time out there. Evaluate your performance, because it looked like you had him done in that first and then uh, almost looking like you gassed out, but you hung on. Give us your take. How do you feel you did in this fight? Uh, not as good as I wanted to, but... You know, here's a victory. I went to win. But um, we have stuff to work on, but I felt good out there. I felt like I was in control the whole time. That's what's important. Bobby, what's next for you? Uh, you know, we've talked several times, and you've mentioned, you know, maybe a step up in competition. You're still under contract with Strike Force for a little longer. Um, will you come back to Titan, or do you think you'll fight in Strike Force? Whatever I'm allowed to do, I want to stay active. So I'm looking to fight next month. Would you like to take a step up in competition? Yes, for sure. And how many times do you want to fight this year? I think good four, four, four or five more times. Very good. Yep. Okay, Bobby, thank you very much. Uh, Kansas City, give it up for Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Don't miss Inside MMA and HDNet Fights every Friday night, only on HDNet. Call your cable or satellite provider today and demand HDNet. For more info, go to HDNetFights.com.